Good morning, viewers. I think it is necessary before we go into solving simultaneous equation to look onto the nature of different solution of linear equations. Because sometimes you may solve a linear equation and end of which result that you least expected. Sometimes you may solve a linear equation and get infinitely many solutions. And sometimes you may get a single solution or no solution. If you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. And stick till the end of this lesson where I am going to show you where the need of simultaneous linear equation arises. So let us first of all look at this first equation. The first equation read this way. We have 5x minus 4 and to the right hand side we have 7x minus 2x which is the same thing as 5x the minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. If we add positive 4 to the both sides, we are going to have from the left hand side 5x equals 5x. If we divide both sides by 5, we are going to obtain x equals x. This shows that every real value of x will satisfy this equation. If x is 1, we have 1 equal to 1. If x is 2, we have 2 equals to 2. So we see this equation has infinitely many solutions. Because every real value you tested here, it will satisfy this equation. So now let us move on to the second one. So we have 3x. Once 3x crosses equality sign, it will change to negative 3x. And to the right hand side, we have 4. If 7 crosses equality sign, it will change to negative 7. 3x minus 3x is 0. And 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Observe two things here. Our unknown variable suddenly disappeared. And left hand side is never equal to the right hand side. So we conclude by saying this equation has no solution. This equation has no solution because the unknown variable we are looking for suddenly disappeared. And you can see the left hand side is never equal to the right hand side. This is another nature of solution for linear equation. So now let us look on to the last one. This is 4x plus 3 equals to 2x plus 5. Uh, from here you can see that if positive 2 crosses equality sign, it will change to negative. So we have 4x minus 2, 2x. And to the right hand side, we already have 5 there. And once 3 crosses equality sign, it will change to negative. And 4x minus 2x is 2x. And to the right hand side, uh, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. If we divide both sides by 2, we are going to obtain x equal to 1. So in this case, x has a solution, but one solution. So we say this equation has one solution. So this is all about nature of uh, solution in linear equation. Sometimes it may contain infinitely many solutions, or has no solution, or has only one solution. So now let us look on to the aspect of simultaneous linear equations. So far you have seen different examples in the form of uh, maybe uh, x plus 2 equals to 5, this type of example, where the equation contains only one unknown variable. But still in linear equation, you may get multiple unknown variables. For example, if we have y minus x equals to 2, this is a linear equation that contains two unknown variables. So how can we solve this type of linear equation? 
you know that there are infinitely many solutions in this type of linear equation because I may say 5 minus uh, 3 is equal to 2, where y is equal to 5 and x equal to 3. This will satisfy this equation. And if I say 7 minus 5 is equal to 2, this will also satisfy this equation. So we may have several solutions for this linear equation. And we may have another equation that says y plus x equals to 8. This also have so many solutions because we may say 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. And we may say um, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So many, many solutions. So while solving simultaneous linear equations, we want to find a single value for x and y that will satisfy the two equations simultaneously without obtaining the infinitely many solutions. So in this example, we can see that 5 for y and 3 for x satisfy this equation, and 7 for y and uh, 5 for x satisfy this equation. And to the other one, we can see that 5 for y and 3 for x satisfy the equation. So to solve this simultaneous linear equation that has infinitely many solutions, but this group, this is the only group that will satisfy both equations because for the first one, if you use 5 and 3, uh, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. And if you use 5 and 3 to the other one, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. This 7 and 5 will satisfy this equation, but it will not satisfy this equation because 7 plus 5 is equal to 12, not 8. And 3 minus 5 is negative 2, not positive 2. You see that only this group of solution that will satisfy these two equations. So in my next class, I'm going to show you the different methodologies used in solving simultaneous linear equation. So thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.